men are typically expected to court women, approach women, ask them out on dates, maybe pick them up, pay for dates, make the first move, etc. What are women expected to do to build a relationship? So I'm talking about that initial stage. What are women expected to do? Wait, so are are we are we saying that like are we saying that like <laughs> Like, he takes you on a date. Like. No, he's, like, so, like, when you're, like, let's say, like, the first date, like, usually on a first date, like, a guy picks you up, like, he takes you there, and he's, like, expected to pay, but, like, what are, like, you expected to do, kind of, like, in these, like, dating, like, you're, scenarios? Just be yourself. Bring good conversation. Be yourself, like, like, are you expected to, to impress him? Do you want to do a party trick? I don't know. I feel like... Would you describe yourself as a feminist? Yes. Do you believe in gender equality? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so how do you reconcile believing in gender equality, but also holding men to their traditional gender roles of paying for the first date? Well, I'm I'm just saying that's my personal view. It, a woman can being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do, and not being bashed by society for that. And uh, obviously, like like um, standing up for like women's like rights and stuff like that. But when it I don't know. I just feel like this question's really dense. If My question is, if you believe in gender equality, don't you think you ought to split the bill on the first date? Um, no, because my main concern with gender equality is through, like, yes, in society, like, fixing that and through, like, the system. But, yeah, I don't... Oh, my God. As you just saw in the clips... Women really don't have an idea what they're bringing to the table, and yet expect men to do everything, all the while talking about equality and equity, when in fact, there's no equality in the way they expect relationships with men to be like. Have you ever questioned why so many women feel entitled in general? Men are supposed to do everything for them, even in the so-called age of equity and equality that we live in today. It almost seems as though they believe they have a right to certain things from men. I mean, it begins with the very first exchange and interaction. When a guy and a girl see each other and like what they see, it's the man who's supposed to approach the woman. The man is supposed to think of a way to get her attention while she plays hard to get it. She expects the man to approach her and expects him to come with compliments, gifts, a boat full of attention, desire, and lust for her. Then the guy is meant to ask her out on a date. The guy is expected to plan the ideal date, make all the necessary arrangements, book the reservation, and then make sure he has a comfortable vehicle to pick her up and chauffeur her around. The man is then expected to cover the cost of the date. The man is responsible for covering the cost of the beverages, presents, and other expenses. He will be viewed as a miserly coward who wants a woman to pay if he dares to ask if she may split the tab. After they've been on the date, it's the guy who's supposed to make the move and give her the first kiss. It's the guy who's supposed to make the move in bed and lead her, while the girl still plays hard to get, and yet, expects to be treated like royalty. Men are expected to take the lead. Plain and simple. Somewhere along the line, I think everyone must have thought about why women always expect everything to be done by the man. I mean, even in long-term relationships, the guy is supposed to do the tough housework and provide for the entire family. Where did the woke feminist go now? What happened to equality, right? Throughout their lives, men are supposed to do everything for women and literally dedicate their lives to providing for, protecting, and helping women. And you know what? Men do that with honor. They do it proudly because that's in their nature. I'm talking about high-value men. Not a simp who starts crying if he gets rejected by a girl. But the question is, why is it that women expect everything from a man? Especially when all they can do now is talk about equality and how men have oppressed them and controlled them. Modern women have indeed become too entitled. I commend you for making one of the best choices you could ever make if you are not considering dating anytime soon. More than anything else, stories about a happy wife and happy life have ruined men. You can do two things when reality hits you in the face. Either you deal with it, or you cry about it. The latter is preferred by MGTOW males, since they don't like to impose their opinions on others, 
let alone employ social engineering to influence women or other men. Even if a lot of people can't believe that you can make decisions that don't violate anyone's rights, since they are so irrational, try as you might, you can't waste time persuading them of anything. Leave them alone and focus on surrounding yourself with positive influences. Why do I even say this at all? Because one of the greatest obstacles for contemporary males to overcome to achieve in the world today is social engineering. The system encourages men to be passive and placid, to pay their taxes, and to accept less than they are entitled to. This explains why the body positivity movement is so popular right now. A male who has the same health problems as a woman cannot be featured on the cover of a magazine. In reality, it would be mocked. I won't say that women will accept any male if I know that their nature is hypergamy. I'm not into promoting promiscuity in any manner, even though certain modern women may be promiscuous, and you can simply convince them to come to your place. I genuinely mean it when I say that the system wants you to accept less than you are entitled to, especially in the case of women. Women who don't fit specific criteria, such as having particular outer and inner beauty, specific manners, or even a particular past, are called names. However, it is praised when a woman aspires to date other men. For many years, men have been tricked into believing that women are some sort of reward just for being female. This has been highlighted more than ever before, especially in light of some philosophies that advocate for so-called women's empowerment. Men are becoming more and more tired of that, and they would rather choose an alternative road than follow unhelpful social norms. I'll talk about a few of the justifications they use to make you think that women are fantastic in all they do. Men in particular are being led to believe that women with baggage make for ideal romantic partners. Regardless of whether you identify as a man, you may have long since concluded that making excuses is unmanly and that you must put in the effort to achieve your goals. Your circumstances, history, or upbringing are irrelevant. You simply complete the task at hand. Except for your mother, the majority of women don't care about your troubles. Men must take it gradually and climb the success ladder one step at a time if they are to bear the burden of performance and output. Men who desire to excel in life rarely waste time on women instead of choosing to concentrate on their projects. In fact, many guys are so dedicated to their craft that women are no longer relevant to them, which is a very good strategy. Another belief that society accepts but does not consider is that women can obtain any entitlements they desire, even if they do not merit them or have put as much effort into earning them as men have. It's almost as if women's entitlement is systematically promoted by society, giving free licenses to women to expect everything to be handed over to them without having to work for it in any way. The only qualification needed for this is that the person has to be female, and all of society will completely ensure their full support. The fact that women feel entitled might be understandable from some aspects, but the fact that they feel too entitled, which means they feel entitled just because that's how it is, is the topic of discussion and debate here. And it is even more so because society has jumped on the woke feminist bandwagon that calls for equality in every aspect of life, and yet, continues to support women to feel entitled to everything a man does, earns, and produces is just perplexing, to say the least. Women need to understand the contradiction in their lives between expecting everything to be taken care of on the one hand and carrying signs calling for equality while marching through the streets on the other. But one thing is certain. Modern women's main weapon against men is manipulation. They have been accustomed to it since they were teenagers and will keep using it till they pass away. They will attempt to manipulate your feelings to get what they want because, as we all know, they believe they are entitled to it. They'll try to persuade you to do things like give them gifts, agree to let them see other people, move closer to where they work, and accept whatever it is they want you to believe. There is no end to it. Also, it commonly works on frail males. We all know that they are primarily after one thing, and because of this, they will tolerate abuse for that one thing alone. As a result, they unwittingly or actively fall for women's manipulative strategies. Consequently, 
Men should stay away from such women who they are aware will take advantage of them and manipulate them to satisfy the expectations they feel entitled to. Why do you think modern women feel entitled? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel by pressing the bell icon for more content from the Circle of Kings.